What's up outdoorsmen? I'm Greg and today I'm in my backyard saddle tree and I'm going to show you guys how I made this cool little 360 camera mount for my hist strap. So me and my buddy Jared actually prototyped this little device on our way home from a North Dakota hunt. Shane Simpson, he uses a 360 camera a lot. It, it kind of gets everything in the picture and it's pretty awesome. I used to run my second angle right here on my tether but there were some problems with that so i like shane's method of using a 360 camera this is a gopro max and me and jared basically prototyped on the way home from north dakota how to build this thing it's essentially a battery bank a gopro mount and a custom piece of kydex now the way we use our hiss straps i mean you can literally put this thing anywhere it just drops right on i think i'm going to run mine like that kind of right there because the 360 camera will get this angle now it will get all of that it'll get all of this basically everything on my strong side so as you can see the way this daisy chain uh system works with the hiss strap from tethered uh you can just kind of pick it up and you can move it wherever you want if you like it on your right side you put it over there so i'm going to show you exactly the tools that i use and how i made it these are the tools that i think i need some 10 snip scissors Got my GoPro Max. Uh, this is the 360 cam I'm gonna use. It's already got some stealth strips on it, but I'll probably end up doing more. This is a just a standard mount for a GoPro. It's got the 3M on the back. Uh, and this is another piece of 3M that I'm going to use for the Kydex uh, that I'm gonna cut. So the idea is you mount the GoPro on one side, so it ends up looking like this, and then you have your Kydex hook on the back so you can put that on a hiss strap, move it around easily. So let's see how it goes. This 3M pad is my template. So I'm gonna do that. And then that's gonna be the back that, that mounts to the battery. And then I'm essentially just gonna have a hook that comes over. So I'm, I'm just gonna come up here, maybe double. So if I fold that over, I'll have a nice little hook. So let's go, okay, so there's my mark. So let's go just slightly above that. That's probably gonna work pretty good. And I'll put a mark there. And come around here like so. So there's the piece of kydex I'm going to use. See if scissors can cut this. I don't know if it can or not. Probably not. Nope. That's why I got the 10 snips. Wow, that is hard. Now I'm thinking 10 snips might not be the best thing for that. Maybe a razor knife? I don't know, let me go try to find one. Score this and break it now. We go it's not pretty but it'll work So that's where I'll bend it. I've uh, I've never used Kydex before, so I'm gonna plug in the heat gun and give it a go. To work with Kydex, you wanna heat it up on a hard surface, like this is granite countertops. Thank God my wife isn't here or I'd be in trouble. 
Just leave it there. That was super fast. I did not expect it to shape that easily and it's super strong too. <laughs> it's almost like I designed it that way. Now let's put this thing together. I don't know which side should go which. Let's go with this side. On the 3M. Is that the right side? Yes. Okay. That was easy. Now, how do I want to orient this charger? I probably want the. Well, I know I want this to face me. Here's the battery readout. So I want that to face me. And I think I want it on my right hand. So I'll put this on the right hand side. And I'll put the camera. So that means the charging port will be facing down. That's fine. So it'll come out and plug into the camera here. So I want this on the back here. There we go. Just like that. I think that's going to work just fine. Okay. That, I want that right. Right there. There's the cool thing, so I can walk in and use the camera separately and then just pop it in there. And that feels, that's definitely solid enough for my purposes. Okay, I'm going to do it right there. Jeez. One hour later. Jeez. Finally. Takes a PhD to get that thing off of there. All right. Here we go. Right. There. That's all she wrote, boys. That's gonna work slick. Well, there you go, that's how you make a custom Kydex hook for a 360 camera and how it can work with the accessory strap. Hopefully that helped you guys. Now go out and shoot something and get outdoors.